and we are back with Blue's turn. Now, this particular Warvy Star Wars, so I was saying, would probably need to die. But let's just um, try to eliminate as many of our opponents as possible and take it from there. Now, I do need to kill this particular assassin. It's incredibly annoying. And this Star Wars is also annoying. But I'm not sure I can address it at this point. <clears throat> I need to basically defend versus this Orsica. Now, I think I can... Let me see here. Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? So if I put this on 40%, I should be fine against anything. So from this perspective, I would say... Okay, not really sure now if I could even get uh, some... Uh, some experience, right? I mean, it's a bit dangerous. Uh, probably I should just go here and... Uh, actually, I should. I should simply... I mean, I know it's experience, right? And it could go into a... into a... into, a, into another unit that benefits from this experience. I just... It's just it's very important to kill this... Um, assassin, and I do need to bring one more healer next to this one, so... Yeah, that takes care of the assassin. <clears throat> now, need to eliminate these guys as well. Probably the best thing to do would be to use this particular soothsayer on the Clasher. That would by far be the best. This one could backstab the Burner. That would be a lot of damage. Okay, let's just do this right. So. 11, 2, 4, 4, 4. Feels like this particular wows can tank a bit, so I might as well use it um, on the Clasher, even if I do get a lot of retaliation in, which I didn't. Now, I can go with this Rogue, and I should be fine with the backstab. Oh, one more would have been absolutely brilliant, but I guess... Uh, Shouldn't be greedy. Now the leader, the leader has 11. Oh, yeah, that's, that's not going to work. So now I can perhaps try to deal a lot of damage on the clash. And as I say, a lot. There come the misses. Now, hmm, 22. Not really sure. Yeah, this one will have to do. A lot of damage, please. Okay, that was decent, actually. So, 10. And we could even take the leader. So, I basically need to hit first, uh, twice. That would be very, very risky. But if we look at the damage calculations, I only have 16% chance to die. Other people might say, oh, you shouldn't take risks in uh, this type of game, well, I, I should, because otherwise I'm never going to win. Um, yeah, let's not take risks. Let's just... Look, it's just, I'm running out of slots here. It's just not, not funny at all. Um, should I take the risks, ladies and gentlemen? This might end really, really quickly. I guess not. I guess not. Let's not take the risk. I guess not. Okay, perfect, at least this one hits. Now I can use my leader here simply because I won't die, right? So I can use my leader here and I need, this one gives me apparently, oh, come on. Oh, oh come on, zero out, of, zero out of five. I wonder why I use the attack with five. It's just, this is just ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Um, yeah, this is not going well. Not going well at all. Now I would, I would be forced to use this Dwarvy Steelclad here and this Dwarvy Steelclad here rather than using the uh, Drake Warrior. Um, yeah, this is not pretty. Um, at least this Drake Thrasher, if it kills a level 2, he will level up now. Uh, or perhaps I could use this. And 
11, 3, he only needs 2. This one can't, can't even do it with 2, so I would say I kind of am forced to use this one. I need 2 hits, 2 hits, Oof, at least that. Okay, that takes care of business there. I must now, I'm forced to put this for the steel clad here, and I am forced to defend with this fat Drake Warrior. Okay, this Drake Warrior should, again, big should, should withstand all these attacks. <clears throat> Although, intelligent strong, I don't know, but I would, I need to take the risk. There's just no other way, unfortunately. Well, well if I think about it, perhaps I could have used this Drake Flare to just get one more hit in. What's done is done, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I could have perhaps hit with the Drake Warrior and then fi finished with Drake Flare. That could have worked as well. Also, I there was no need to put this. Well, obviously, still glad I could have put the other one. However, I need some muscle on this side as well. I can't just, okay, at least this one is 60%, at least that. Now, let me see, do I have any other units nearby? The useless, the useless, and the useless. Everything is useless. Now, I could, with 16, if I can manage to kill a level 2 here somewhere, but there's none to be seen around, could level up. Hmm. Yeah, that's not looking pretty. I believe that if I place this one here and then this one here, hmm, this one can reach the suit sayer. However, it shouldn't deal enough damage to kill it. This one fortunately cannot reach anything useful 14 if this one should survive 14 or 70 percent two attacks though so i'm guessing putting this one here with 21 hit points this should withstand two attacks 50 percent 21 should withstand two attacks and then this rogue suddenly only needs to withstand one attack so this one should be okay. We'll have to burn us here, but at this point, just willing to take charge. Not willing, maybe willing is not the best word, but it is definitely 12-2, eh? Mm. Perhaps if I just graze a bit this 12-ish, uh, I mean, uh, Drake Fighter, that could basically discourage him from okay i'm going to disable this and i'm going to say yes yes and yes and yes okay now this one will think twice before he will attack hopefully he will think twice okay um fortunately this one should just hope that he requires a lot of time to die now i did have a I did lose a lot of units with blue. Did have a dwarvish fighter on this side, which is dead now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, wish me luck because I will be needing it this turn more than ever. I feel that I'm saying this phrase every single turn now, which shows that probably my play hasn't been the strongest. Dodge, 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 dodge. Well, how much can you dodge, I guess? Oh no, oh no, oh no, I just didn't need that. I just needed him to simply... Oh god. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this might be the end of our world conquest adventure. But as I promised, I won't reload. I won't go back. I will basically try until the very bitter end still think we could win. I mean, it's not over yet, just yet. I mean, I've lost all my all my heroic units on this side, provided they were not that... I mean, no, I still have the WoWs, 
I think the wows was heroic, I'm sure. So I still have the initial unit, which is the wows, and with on the red side, I still have the... Oh god, what is... What, what is this doing? Oh god! I need this, I want this! Okay, what is the city cave there? I have no idea. Perfect. Ah, three out of three, of course. I mean, why not? Okay, that is looking grim. But uh, do not despair. This particular bandit, I didn't even notice he has... He has that item. It would be incredibly useful to steal the item away from him. Now... <clears throat> I do have my fat dwarves. So I do have my weapon. This is a very good weapon here. Uh, what weapon? What other weapons do I have? Do I have any other weapons? Yes, I do have the steadfast. So I do have my strongest two weapons still, and I do have my original wows, which is absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> but other than that, I'm really struggling on this side. But before we get to blue, let's just enjoy red and try to kill as many units as possible. Luckily for us, these all seekers did not do anything. Right, so that would have been really painful if the Ulcicas would have started to to uh, hit. Now, I'm thinking here, I'm not sure what you ladies and gentlemen are thinking, but I'm thinking experience distribution, right? So, 5-3, if only I had leadership, right? So, I'm thinking 21 plus 16, 37. <clears throat> the only problem is the Ulf Seeker, so <clears throat> I can't really apply the strategy. So I can't really apply the strategy where I have just one more experience until leveling up, and then I hope that uh, my opponents level me up simply because there are Ulf Seekers running around. With this being said, I should just, just I should just be done with this one, to be honest. So I feel that now it's the time to stop running. I need to kill this oracle, otherwise he'll be with 1 HP the whole game. Now, it's really important who gets the experience here. I feel that this mage would be key. Now, this one would be even better. Because, um, I, I mean, it would be a bit of a waste. It feels like, if I, if, if I am to be greedy, I would say that this one should go here to get really close for becoming um, level two. But if I want a white mage right now, I should do this. Um, not sure if I do have time to play around. I think I need a white mage as soon as possible. And this would be a great positioning for a white mage. So I'm leaning towards doing this. However, if I look at the experience here, they are all very close to leveling up. However, not close enough. So <clears throat> I am thinking of... I feel that I should eliminate this threat. Come on, hit. Hit, hit one more time. One more time. You can do it. Great. 37. That's it's not what I was hoping for, but it would have to do. Um, now, there is this Ulfsicker here as well, so this is going to get messy. Hmm. Probably should have retreated once more. Oh, too late now. Sick of running away. I'm tired. I want to fight. So let us fight now. <clears throat> Hmm, this one is a 70%. So with it being a 70%, I'm thinking actually of doing the following. Oh, of course he got that. I wanted to just get that. Oh, God. Anyway, I guess now I'm kind of forced to do this. Just nothing else better to do. If only I had an all sicker for this bandit here. This is just destroying me. Um... don't think I'm strong enough to kill him right now. This one has 60%, of course, why not? Perhaps I could grab him with this uh, white mage. 
Hmm. Why could basically 43 arcane, arcane resistance zero, so yeah, I'm not really sure what to do here. This is just a beast. Um, maybe just ignore it, stick my hand, my head into the sand, ignore it, hope that he will go away. Um, Okay, I'm getting another one. <laughs> okay, that is absolutely funny. Three out of three miss with the mage. Uh, now people are going to go, oh, you shouldn't take risks. Well, I don't know, guys. If that was a risk, I don't know what's not a risk, to be honest. You teach me. Um, yeah, this is absolutely horrendous. So... No, this is just horrendous. I, I don't think I can come back from this. So this one has two before leveling up, so he'll probably level up. Now, in terms of... Protecting this mage, I don't have many options, to be honest. Thinking this one, but can I just... No, I just don't, I just don't feel it. Um, this one here could probably go on 60% to protect this dwarf is still blood a bit. I just, no, I don't have enough hits on this burner either. Hmm. Probably this level two. And try to... Okay, I'm going to do, this one is close to leveling up. So I'm going to do the following. I am going to poison him. Okay, that was a bit, that was fine. Eight, four, still quite, I could even try now to kill him. I mean, I, it's this annoying auger. It's in the way. Let me see here. Five, five, five. Oh, undo, undo. Oops. Okay, misclick, um, which is always fun. So I would say, okay, I'll go for this one. Five. Considering that I have five there. This one could get the experience, or perhaps this one. I'm gonna get this one to get the experience. This one will be on 70% here, protecting people. This one probably will be on 60. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to put the experience into this. Well, this one could also benefit instead of killing this bandit. Though killing the bandit should be a priority. I'm not sure whether I can do it though. 14-2. So this one will need to hit twice and I would still not have enough damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is not looking good. Perhaps one, two, three, oh, not even that. So I'm just going to ignore that for a second. And 41, 34. Yeah, I guess I'm going to go with the, the spearman. Okay, now I do need something to protect here. So. I'm thinking or oh, perhaps 70% here, right here, perhaps 70% with this particular Slayer. This one is 14.3 though. Hmm. Well, if God wants me to die, I will die anyway, so <clears throat> I think it's 
at any point in me playing around here. Okay, this one can actually hit. This one can actually hit. So I would say seven four. Okay, let's make this a priority actually. Let's see how much damage I can deal here. Of course, nothing. Why, why, why would I deal any damage? Never mind. I'm going for it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a bit frustrated. Of course, just full hits in. Why not? And let us try here to protect a bit. Just do it. I not don't care that much anymore. It's been a great game, but it's a bit ridiculous. Okay, arcane magical. So let's somebody needs to get that. Somebody needs to get that, and I don't know who. Probably this one would have been a well, probably not, but anyway let's try now to destroy this one of course full hits in as always really nice to see i must now i'm kind of forced to great so now basically my whole defense is relying on this griffin rider which is not Good, not a pretty sight. Now, 12 here. This one could take it. So that the enemy does not take it. So I would say yes. Cane, ranged, magical. I'm not sure, I mean, it remains to be seen here if I take it, whether I drop it or not. So it would be, it would make a lot of sense for me to drop that item, but I am scared I might not drop it. However, I'm not sure whether he would have taken it or not. This is probably something interesting to explore. Um, do need to cover my tracks here as much as possible name of the game is surviving at this point so I'll say leader back this one would have to defend this one would have to defend this one quick diligent train regenerates this one is fearless would have to defend this one would have to defend some sort of line here, and this one would have to defend the leader as much as possible. Thirty-nine. Okay, probably running would have been a better idea. Let us see here. How I'm definitely going to die this turn. I'm definitely going to lose tons of units. Let's see though. How? So, what? Definitely, I'm going to die, but there's always the question of how am I going to die? Now, this leader, if he could get a level two, which that would be absolutely impossible the way this is going, but perhaps get a thrasher, right, in the process. These guys here are not very good versus Wowzers, so I am thinking just putting the ones forward and ignoring them for the time being uh, and going for this burner instead so I would say just attack with absolutely everything I have oh what? 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 I thought I was doing ranged never mind um 6-5, I'm sure I wouldn't get 4, so I wouldn't even bother. Oh, 
Okay. So that takes care of that. Now my leader should go somewhere behind these heathens. And I should now try to kill this burner if possible. I think the best way to kill the burner would be with melee. Hmm, 15-23. Just going to do that. Okay, so at least now he would go for the level 2 rather than going for this dwarvish fighter that has... How trained is he actually? It's pretty well trained actually. Wow. Remains to be seen. Um, this particular Skydrick doesn't look too inspiring, does it? Guess instead of losing my Drake Flare, it would be better to lose my Sky Drake. So I could try to protect him a bit, at least from this side. So he would probably go here and get the Sky Drake rather than killing my Dwarvish Fighter with an absolutely killer artifact. Okay, let's see how we fare there. So he did go for the Sky Drake. Oh, where, where, where did this come from? Okay, I like that. No, I don't like this. Okay, perfect. Didn't expect that to survive. But it did, so... Excellent, excellent. I like these ranged attacks. They are... Oh! oh I guess I had to lose something, right? So... I lost the level 2 there, not a big deal, because it was a Sky Drake. And our day is coming, and my... My Staff of Radiance has survived, which is absolutely fantastic news. Um, yeah, I didn't expect that. So, lesson to be learned here. All these drakes, right, you see they are pretty mean. But even if overall they are ahead, the AI will use ranged versus a strong melee unit. So it's a fearless melee unit. They used range. It seemed like a waste to me. But, you know, why am I complaining? I, I basically survived. I survived the night, right? So I shouldn't be complaining. But it's lesson to be learned. Didn't know this. This one was lucky, I guess, this Star Wart. But I was unlucky with the mage. So I guess it balances out. Griffin Rider somehow survived. Um, don't know how. I don't know how red is doing it. But blue is absolutely taking the shorter end of the stick again and again and again. So, yeah. Um, now, if I can, this Star Wars is level three. If I could basically kill it with a, with a, with my leader, it'd be ideal. But, uh, well, my leader would need only 16 experience, but looking at, I mean, seeing how things are, I don't think he will ever get to kill a level two. Probably a leader should get a level 1 and then a level 1 and basically get these 16, ex I mean, 24 experience points into somebody else. Okay, so as far as red goes, 
these three were pretty scary so the enemy team did not touch them now this does not mean i should become complacent i should try to use them well and i should be trying to stay on 60 percent and trying to go back if possible and trying to do so many things so i will be going back now let me see here if i could so 18 hmm could be getting the kill here that would be so easy to get the kill with but the problem is after i do this all these drakes are going to eat me alive so i'm not sure here but i do have a great chance to 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 to, to fight back if i do get here three four but it does deal a lot of pierce damage so i don't really know okay so i don't know here what to do to attack i do have a lot of units so i have the potential to kill a lot of units but i'm a bit spread out here i just i should i feel that i should bring my units in a clump but i just don't know who to let's see here how this look this would also look pretty favorable and i guess killing the all sickers is is really important i can't really do anything before i kill the all sickers so from this perspective i would say yeah, sure, this Swarmish Fighter should probably kill the Osik. Um, this one... Hmm. I feel that I should kill this level 2. I mean, I, I have too many targets here. I could also put this one here, 13-2, but getting close to this leader is just not... Not my idea of fun. Now, this Pike Man can also basically cause a lot a lot of damage uh, there's also the possibility of simply retreating with everybody except these three hmm. or perhaps simply letting this one die after killing the wolf okay it's going well so far much better than this particular steel clad did before hmm. I would say retreat with these two, so I can retreat pretty far. Um, and I can form a line here with these two castle uh, tiles, right? And with this hill, if I pull this one to the hill, and I would basically have enough targets. So retreat from south and 20. Okay, retreat from south and kill north if possible. Killing north would also help blue basically meet. We will meet here. So with this being said, yeah, begins our adventure. 14 versus 8. That is decent. This one has to stay back though. I can't really become too adventurous with this one. 5, 3. It will survive no matter what. But this thunder must die. <sighs> course he only has 30 percent i mean of course i mean I, I don't see any other way um yeah that is absolutely ridiculous hmm. 46 i only need one kill but at the same time i could die to the retaliation so yeah this is also a pretty difficult situation Hmm. 37-39. Um, this one should go back, most definitely. This one could basically defend versus everybody and everything. But probably not wise to take him so far. So I would say this one goes here. Perfect. And now he just needs to survive one attack, which I'm sure he can. 25, he can definitely survive one attack. 
so and then he will level up so that's great defender right here unless of course the drake warrior hits him then he of course we get hit three out of three and die now next thing to do i mean i could put this one forward don't get me wrong i could definitely put him forward and i think i will actually yes, why not it's just 20 percent miss the first hit okay uh enough with this bitterness um let's see what else i could do here definitely need to protect this one and i'm kind of need to go for this kind of need to go for that Darvish Thunderguard. I'm basically almost all in at this point. Now, I can't reach him with the Pikeman, so I might as well put this one back and try to use the Pikeman here. Okay, at least the Pikeman can hit. Great, so now with the Pikeman hitting, I can not sure what I can do, to be completely honest with you. Could use my mage here. I could use the other two mages on this Star Wars, but it's a Star Wars, so. Could definitely, oh, it's 40%, of course. Why wouldn't it be 40%? Now, <clears throat> this one could also deal a lot of damage and he wouldn't mind being out in the open. So I guess just use it here. Okay, hit a bit more times. Still disastrous, if you ask me. Let's see this one. Okay, seven. Seven is not that bad. It is killable. Six, three, of course. Six, three. Um, this one perhaps can deal seven. Most definitely can. However, this one will be now vulnerable to the Star Wars. I see no other way, ladies and gentlemen, than absolutely wasting the experience on this Slayer. Now, um, 10 versus 6-3, that is going to be painful. Can, I could try to sacrifice the Griffin Rider, um, but that would just be wrong, I feel. Well, I could have actually used the Griffin Rider on that and gotten the kill in advance. Didn't think about that, did I? Uh, well, it would have to be on this one if I manage to hit. Okay, at least Mage hits. Now... this one will have to hit big time here 15 hmm Now, with 15 there, Staff of Radiance should take care of him. Perfect. So that takes care of that. However, now I have other problems, beautiful problems. Um... Let me see here. Six, one, two, three, four, five, not enough. So might as well just use it. Okay. 
they scare of business there. However, this particular Star Wars only has five HP. So that's not looking good. Also need to close the line on this side somehow, some way. I might need to rely on these two to defend, which is not the best, but um, again, it would have to do. So I would say this one here. Of course, zero. Now this stops most of aggression coming from this side. However, this Griffin Rider might need to sac sacrifice himself for the greater good, of course. So I'm thinking... So I'm definitely moving back. Hmm. Might need to risk. So yeah, there's no way I can defend these units without the Griffin Rider. So I'm just going to put the Griffin Rider on here on 50%, although yeah, that's going to not be pretty at all. And there are more units coming, so I'm thinking put this one here, and then this one here. And this one is going to heal. This one going to heal, and then... Be sure how this one will work, but I'm definitely going to put him here. Okay, um, that's improvising basically. So I would probably have lots of red units die this turn, no question about that. Let's see if I can help out a bit with um, with blue. So. Do need to make sure I deal a lot of damage to this Sentinel. Twelve two. Oh come on. Can't even attack the Sentinel, can I? Hmm. Well, I guess I need to do... Hmm. Guess I need to attack with leader first. Okay, leader needs one more kill before leveling up. And now... I can... Surround this sentinel and deal absolutely no damage. Just like I always dreamed I would. So I would say, yeah, that'd be fine. Twenty-two. Hmm. Uh, 
perhaps this one. Okay, now theoretically, this one should kill. Knowing my luck, I'll probably miss. Perfect. Great, some fire damage. Well placed fire damage there. Getting the job done. Now, okay, at least I have some counterplay there. Now this one could get the kill. Perfect. Now this side is relatively safe. All I need to do is make sure this wows hmm. great at least this wows can hit perfect that was my main enemy as far as the wows is concerned so now I should be able to defend against all these heathens. This one can relax a bit, I guess. No need to make any crazy plays. This one can even get the village. And in terms of Oh, this hasn't moved. Okay, that's interesting. So if this hasn't moved, I guess I'll move it. Hmm. Not sure whether here, or perhaps it would be more reliable to move next to my own units. Great, and in terms of planning mode, This should be good enough. I'm sure they won't attack me here. Or if they will, it's their loss. Okay. Um, planning mode deactivated. The only problem is now is that red side is absolutely going to get shattered. I hope I don't lose too many units. Not sure whether this one should just attack a bit. Okay, that is fine. Getting this one lower and low. Getting it ready for my leader. So Okay, great. Griffin Rider survived there. Unexpected. Ugh, this one got fried like he was nothing. Oh no. At least not three out of three, please. Perfect level two there. And excellent. Griffin Rider survived even. It's a bit of luck that I needed there. This one is getting hit like he's nothing. It's just 70%. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. I'm particularly happy that these units survived this one, yes. I mean, he shouldn't have been 4 HP, he should have been in a much better condition. I mean, he is 70% and he is steadfast. So I lost this one, but remember the one having the actual regenerate is this one over here. So that was not too bad. Um, Great. Do I have a level two white mage? Not yet, because this one has never, has never advanced. But look what I have here. My armies are together. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't care what you think. I'm saying that I got this. I think I can still finish this. So, I mean, <laughs> remember, we have a lot of, uh, I mean, we have a very high level of training, right? So new units we recruit are actually fantastic they have a lot of buffs so it's actually very uh very beneficial to recruit new units at this level late level of training so from this perspective 
um, we are okay because even if we can't recall most units it's important to have the core units we've lost some core units but we also have some buffed units with um, with these artifacts so we can use this to our advantage I mean, we still have the steadfast rogue we still have the original wows we still have the slow dwarf and we still we still have we have a lot of artifacts i'm going to look three swords this one also has a sword right i should probably put the special overlay this one has sword this one has sword this one also has sword because he has so all the special overlay units we've managed to keep them alive right look i'm so i'm not i'm not afraid of sacrificing look i sacrificed here level two guardsmen i sacrificed here some units unfortunately it seems the spearmen on the red side get the short end of the stick each and every time but my leader is a spearman so that's not a big deal anyway now we should we should be we should be retreating to be honest there's no need to do anything else we should be retreating uh oh, look look what's coming look what is coming if we keep fighting into this mess we are going to die so we should be retreating um and defending um heal up but as i'm saying this uh, you know, my my mages and my units will not have the chance to, um, right to level up. Also, if you look here, I mean, I'm just running out of units to to just, you know, put in front and defend. I'm just running out of them, so it's it's just like I, I, I can't do much, can I? I could try to retreat towards the castle and try to kill this, because realistically, this is an absolute. I mean, this needs to die, so I should retreat towards the castle. This one deals a lot of damage. So I would say perhaps this one eh? could be a good, could be a good. Um... So it only needs now one more hit and then it can level up as well. Now, so that particular burner was dealing in insane amounts of damage. Now, okay, I think I, I can retreat. I think I can I can defend here, to be honest, but my leader on 60%, that should be good enough. This one should go back and try to hit at least once. Perfect, perfect, that's what I needed there. Annoying Omega, annoying fire attacks. Okay, without these fire attacks, this particular infantryman is a bit safer. Now, I should defend versus this one is 15, but he can't be in the front line. He just can't. Um, now, the white mage. I have to go back. I just can't stay here anymore. Now, I'm thinking of retreating the red units and using the blue units to cover them, although the blue units are also dying. Well, I do have a fat dwarvish steel clad here, and I do have a wows and dwarvish steel clad here as well. So well, I guess I, I could I could use up some of these to, to cover up. Um, I need to, let me see here, to basically place this white mage in the middle and then bring everybody to him okay this one is not going to do anything here he's not going to kill anything so that's good now I need to bring this one here it deals a lot of damage this one here this one here this one i could even bring on this side to be honest to get the heal this one yeah this one, this one can even go way in the back. Like, yeah, because he's not going to do much for a very long time. Now, this one could also go here again, or going somewhere safe. This one, unfortunately, cannot retreat that far. So he will have to go on 50%. This one will have to be used as defense so say go here on 70 percent this one has to go back hmm. 
Mm. Problem is difficult to really hide him. Um, could go on 70% here, but that would be absolutely suicidal. Could go here, but then I would need to put a... Well, if I could put my leader here, that would be fantastic. That would basically solve all of my problems. If I could just put my leader here and get the kill on the footpad, level three leader, that would basically defend all this red bunch. So from this, having this in mind, I'm thinking of putting my fencer here and then closing the gap with, okay, that's, that's problematic a bit, so. Hmm. The only way I could close the gap here if I could go to here like this. So then I would basically have a level a level two. I mean he's fat. Don't get me wrong, he is fat. But he would need to survive with 57. He would need to survive all these. Which is Incredibly difficult, but not impossible, not unheard of. So this Wavi steel clad, that's where my hopes lie. He has quite good resistances. I kill the burner, so he, he doesn't have to deal with that ranged burning nonsense. So from this perspective, I'm okay. But there are there is this Drake warrior that deals a ton of damage. So 15, so 12 per hit, that is just insane. That is simply insane. I, I might not be able to do it. I might have to sacrifice this spearman, unfortunately. It has a lot of experience, I know. But, uh, well, uh, to be honest, I don't think I can. I think I just have to go with it and hope that he, this particular warrior misses once. So that would be 24. And then that would be basically the, the bulk of the damage. Then this one will deal 14 or something of this sort, so that would be 38. 38, and then there will be 19 left, and 19 should so. With normal luck, I should be able to survive here. Normal luck. Um, but remains to be seen if that is actually going to happen. So I'm just going to accept everything here. Okay, this doesn't look that bad, doesn't look that bad. He might also go for this uh, heavy infantryman because he's level one and has less HP. So he might also be lured into attacking here on this, on this side. Okay, now it is critical for me to, no, it is critical for me to protect my red units with my blue units. It sounds a bit awful because red has been, oh, this one can also, I do something like be here for some heals or, or it could, let me, let me think about it. So planning will deactivate it. It could attack this. Again, I remember I'm planning on getting the kill right here. So if I'm planning on getting the kill right there, um, I need some help with this footpad. So as long as I can protect the mage, oh, 9-4, that, that is not something I'm looking forward to. Hmm. I might have to put the leader way, way in front. So if I do put the leader way in front, then perhaps, oh, undo, undo. Mage here would not be that bad. I need to soften him up. Perfect. Now, these will deal with whatever comes their way. And blue needs to basically absolutely level up this Rasha, like now. So this Rasha dies from one hit. I need basically one hit out of five versus 60% with this leader, and I should be fine. 
Okay, let us pray. Great. So now this leader needs to go right in the middle of the fight. 92%, so I basically risk the game on 92% chance. If this is risk, then I don't know. So here we go. Leroy Jenkins going forward by himself. Is he going to get in or not? Is he going to fail miserably? This is the... Oh, great. <laughs> Excellent. Now we have a game, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect. Now this one here, 93 on 40% during day. He can hold his own. He can hold his own. That's, there's no doubt about that. And this suddenly makes uh, defense here possible, right? So if I simply put, so this one is 39, right? So if I simply put this one here, do we need the 39, 33? Hmm. Hmm. Not sure which one I should put where. So, for example, if I do put this one here, okay, I'll do probably 39. Let's put the 39 here. Well, I don't know. Still can't make up my mind. Perhaps put the guardsman there. Either way, I feel that this duelist is dead. Um, so in order to make sure that the duelist is not dead, I would have to be even more aggressive with my defense. And I would have to put this one on. It's the only way, I think. Yeah, it's the only way to put this one here and this one here. So 33. On 60%, that is my defense. However, this can't reach it. This can't reach it. So it is, should be fine. You see, 33 should be, big should, but 33 on 60% should be fine. Uh, I will try to dazzle him with my other units, but let us see here. Mm. This one can't catch a break. You will never hear. Not sure about this one here. I just feel that I should be retreating and helping my other teammates. So, for example, I should be putting this one definitely here to help out my leader a bit. And this one should be going back. Of course. Um, forty percent. Just don't want to be backstabbed. It's my only worry at this point, I don't want to be backstabbed. So from this perspective, I would say I do need to kill this Star Wars. Be incredibly difficult to deal with. Okay, um, guessing all these units will move forward. I mean, I don't see any other way, to be honest. So, I guess put this healer in the middle, and then I guess I could also put the rogue back. He just will be exposed unnecessarily to all sorts of attacks. So from this perspective, I could also keep him where he is. Although if I do push him forward, he has the potential of becoming more useful in defense. So from this perspective, I will push the rogue forward as well. And that's basically it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what we need to pray for is this Saurian Soothsayer, Keps, and also this Steelclad, but especially this 
Sorian Sutseo here. My whole defense depends on him. And let's see what the AI has got. Okay, good, good dodges there. Good dodges. Oh, 30, 30. Oh, God, 30. That's just insane. I didn't realize it's going to hit me so hard. Okay, perfect. Ranged. He's not going to kill it. 30. It's just insane. Excellent. So 60% is working wonders that... Oh, okay, never mind. Doesn't really matter. I don't really care. If he went for ranged here, then I don't really care. So again, important to note, if you do have a level 2 dwarf with a lot of melee retaliation, uh, the AI... I mean, if it's not in the same team, so for example, this was one team, this was another team, the AI would only compute based on his team. So for example, this AI would say, I can't kill it with these two units. Therefore, I also don't want a lot of retaliation back. Therefore, I'll be using ranged. So... Um, another lesson to be learned here so if if you if you if you i mean we had a non i would say we had a, <laughs> a crazily aggressive strategy right so we ran away from 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 the enemy and we um we we merged our, our armies together and now we are dealing with a mix of armies right so um it's it's you know we are we are seeing non-conventional situations right so um yeah uh we are fighting these again mixed armies so um you have to take into account this rule otherwise you, you're not fully taking advantage of um of the AI, basically, you need to exploit the AI. Now, in terms of this unit here, if I mean, we, we do have to kill a unit, otherwise our leader would be in in a world of hurt. So you see, thirty. Oh God, thirty damage. That is insane. Um, not even sure how I can kill this warden without slow. I do have slow here, but I can't reach the ward. So I would need to. I need to sacrifice a unit at this point to, to save the leader. So I'm not even really sure which, which, which unit I should sacrifice. Or perhaps I should basically plow through these units here. And after I plow through these units, I should try to kill the warden. However, I do have six. Uh, <laughs> so you see, I do deal a lot of damage, but at the same time, um, I also get a lot of damage in retaliation. Probably this one had deals four instead of six, but still it can kill me. Now, these units here are getting dangerously close to me, but I, unfortunately I need to, I need to ignore them for the time being. I don't have any other choice. Um, wish I could go here and get some experience. However, I need to pay attention to what's going on here. However, this one, this one cannot do much on that side. So it, I would need to see here what would be best. Nine is terrible. I need a 16 experience unit. And the only one available is this one and he can kill me in one shot. So not really sure. This one, however, can make something happen, perhaps even from 20% here, 7 to. So, yeah, he can't die. So, if I manage to, for example, how far can this one reach? So, this one also has Staff of Radiance. Perfect. Staff of Radiance should definitely be used on a Drake fighter. Let's look at the damage. Oh, incredible, incredible item. So great. Now I do need do need some kills here. So I would say this one still has some issues in terms of healing. Therefore, I would be more keen to keeping him in the back. But 
Mm, I mean, I don't know. I do need to hit with absolutely everything I have. So this one would be 10-3. Okay, let's just go for it. Perfect. Now this one now can, can kill and get the experience. And possibly it would be better to get the experience from here. Now I have several options here. Uh, it can be pikemen, it can be javelinier, it can be swordsman. The problem with javelinier is that it doesn't doesn't keep leveling up. However, Javelinia would basically deal a lot of retaliation damage to everybody. Um, Pikeman is quite good because it's very resilient to pierce, so very resilient to ranged attacks, and deals a lot of retaliation to these drakes. Therefore, he will basically encourage these drakes to attack him with range once more. Okay, so this level 2 unit here, Pikeman, could be just fine. Now, I wish I could get yeah another level two. Doesn't look like it will happen. Um, hmm. Twelve two sixteen two. I think this one could survive with. Um, and it's a gamble, but I think it could survive. Although there are more units coming. Best thing to do, the wisest thing to do would be to retreat him. However, ranged can withstand quite a lot of ranged attacks. So let me do this first. Let me see what this heavy instrument can do first. Oh, God, of course not. Okay, I'm going to go for it anyway. Oh god, no! Okay, now I'm in a world of hurt. Nine. Okay, at least this one can hit. Then, considering... Everything that has been going on, I would say go for <laughs> try to and now I do need to protect my leader, and this one would be I think the best option. <laughs> Again, there's no other option. Needed somebody there, otherwise my leader would just be under too much pressure. Plus the sentinel, I mean, it needs to be poisoned, otherwise it would be incredibly difficult to kill. Um, now he might also try to go for this steel clad, I think, I believe so. Let me see how far he can reach. So he can reach quite far there, so for this reason I would say Okay, mage goes here, this one goes here to protect a bit. Okay, that is that. Um, now I do need to protect my Dwarvy Steel Clad as well. So I would need to place this, is this mine? Yeah, it is. I would need to place my Guardsman here on 50% most likely. Now, this particular duelist can't do absolutely anything at this point, so he will need to... I mean, if my leader dies, then everything dies, so I might as well just assume that this one is safe. So if my leader dies, everything dies. So this particular ghoul... Hmm... feel that I should again be aggressive like I said before so I should use this unit as long as it's healthy to deal some damage and then I could use other units in other places now this ghoul can heal from my white mage but he can also heal from this soothsayer so it's not necessarily 
crucial that I go, I take him back so I could heal up on that side as well. Now, I could heal him up here. Or I could try to kill 333. He won't die, so I could try to kill this thief as well. Oh, 333. That's not that pretty. This one has 40%, so it's more important to actually get this particular thief. So from this perspective, I would say... Oh, can't reach it, can I? I would say getting rid of the thief is prioritary. Great. So I got the thief, so now these units here have less targets to kill. Could try to go with this one here as well. It's just that... Hmm. If I put this here, it's just it will heal, yes, but it just feel, it feels like it will hinder the movement, proper movement. This is needed for maneuverability. So I would say perhaps get this steel clad here because the steel clad has more ability to move around and put the ghoul here and then this mage can move here rather than attacking. Unfortunately this is how I have to be. I'm so tempted to do this but it's just it's just not the right time at this point. Yeah, this one can't do anything before it heals. Okay, so in general this will be interesting. <clears throat> so I would say... This great clash absolutely must die. So I would say... Oh, come on. I mean, come on. Okay, I need to defend here a bit, so... Nine. How am I even going to kill this guy at the backstab, I guess? Um... Okay, I've, I've done all I could here. This is 39, it's defending here, so... Now it's up to these guys. Um, perhaps you can put the guardsmen on this side. 5-3. That could work, but it's not optimal, for obvious reasons. 14-3. That, this is where I want to use the backstabber. Let me see this guy. What can this guy do? Hmm. 45, 42. Strong, quick, trained. None of them has artifacts, so I guess I could theoretically... 16-3, so this one deals 43. So from this perspective, this one would be best. Perfect, great, leader saved. Now, in terms of where to place the leader, that's just, it's just insane, insane. This straight warden is just insane. Can't describe it otherwise. So this one need to go on twenty percent. Unfortunately, he needs to withstand three attacks though. But these guys they just don't deal that much damage. Okay, that is that is okay. That is not that bad. So I do have now level three ancient wows. So this one has. Hmm. This one does have the ice bow, so I don't want to lose him. Just don't want to lose him that you know, foolishly. So, so I don't want to lose the leader foolishly, for obvious reasons. But I would say...
Come on, just hit once. <laughs> no, that's that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good, does it? Now I could place this. Perhaps place this here. Perfect. Now this one, if it survives the Drake Warden, he'll become level 2. So now I can put the Guardsman here, which closes this line nicely. And in terms of this Enforcer, which heroically tanked this Warden, could try to, I mean, I could try to, like this one is just, hmm. This one could handle whatever it's coming at him for now. Could even put it Anna. I'm gonna do that. I guess I could also put the leader here. And this one could be healing up and participating in the fight. Or oh, after this target dies, the leader should probably be here to support a bit. Right, I just need to make sure the leader doesn't go into the warden. Well, I guess this one can do the supporting part. And my leader can go here to heal. Six, one, two, three, four, five. I guess it could reach either way. So from this perspective, I would say that's fine. Okay. It's not too bad. Oh. Undo actually, oh, never mind. Now, this particular rogue, what can he do? He's steadfast. So he can, yeah, he can um, can be fine against this uh, Drake Warder, right? So nothing to worry about. Well, this one could be here, and he could defend this steel clad a bit more. However, I don't feel it's necessary. Well, maybe it is. I mean, he would be exposed to three attacks. I don't know. Probably keep him for another day uh, or another night. So this one is an important steel clad. Um, 15-3, so 12. 12. He just needs two attacks. The wrist streak warrior needs two attacks to kill it. Nine three, I, I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, I just don't. Know. Um. So thirty three, eighteen. Either way, it's bad. Um. Twenty percent, twenty percent. However, this would have three attacks on him. Don't know uh, which one is more important. We have to think this way: is the steel club more important, or is this road more important? Um, the steel club is probably more important, so I'm just going to risk it. I'm going to defend using the steel club, and yeah, see what happens. I mean, I'm just going to defend using the rogue, so I will see what happens there. Probably, I could have used this. Not sure where this one came from. I don't think it had the reach. One, two, three, four. Probably this one was one, two, three, something like that. So one, two. Probably I should have used the guardsman here rather than here. Could have probably been better, but too late. Okay, he went there. That was quite good for me. That is also quite good. That's not a lot of damage. Excellent level two there. Okay, see, he went for that because he knows it's the more important target, right? So. So I've lost, I've lost quite a lot of units now. Yeah, I don't think I can come back from this list, Jim. This might indeed be the end.
but I'm going to play it out until the end anyway. I have I've used only 16 turns out of 35, so I should have should have plenty of time to fight back. However, I've lost some of my units with important artifacts. However, I've gained one with even a better artifact. I mean, eleven three staff of radiance. That is absolutely insane. Um, let me see here how to best play this. I have the possibility to get tons of kills now. Um, let me see how to best distribute experience here. Hmm. Okay. Do have another mage here. And now I do have another level two replacing the previous level two, so that's not too bad. However, I did lose my assassin with his poison. Um, let us see here. Yeah, this one needs some, it's a lot of XP, which he can get from here. That should be good enough. I feel. Perfect. So we just need now three experience and he is good to go. It has arranged fire magical. Um, great. Uh, now, in terms of this leader, hmm. this one needs a regular kill. She can be this particular fighter, 13-2 though. Or it could be this. Let's see how much damage I can deal here. Hmm. Nothing. Okay, no problem. This one is not fully healed to contribute to the fight, I feel. Well, could contribute to the fight here, yeah, I guess, 13-3. 12-3, um, right, but just want to... Okay, probably I should put him there. It's better positioning. Okay, and he got the experience, so that is fine. Now, in terms of this one, he needs to be able to use his... I feel that now I need to address these guys as well, unfortunately. Great. 10, so I would say this one can get it, but he can also get killed in the process, but I mean, perfect, excellent. Now this one can really contribute to the defense on this side. Now in terms of this unit here, I would say a white mage would be in order. And now this particular Drake Enforcer, I'm not sure if he will heal eight or not, but now he can benefit from healing if he chooses to fight on this side, which he will. I can tell you now he will. Now in terms of this mage here, putting him in a line of fire, not too happy about that. However, making sure that he kills this dangerous orcish archer, that is another story. Yeah, probably would have been better to simply put him on the thug. Uh, but it's important to kill this orcish archer. Um, okay, now this does not do much there. This one has 21 HP. Hmm. 
25 HP. Eighteen HP. Just running out of HP. This is what I feel it's happening. Um fifty-three sixty-two. So if I manage to kill this particular archer with the leader, then I only need to survive one attack, which I should, and then I should be level three. So with this being said, I think that well, I could definitely poison this trapper here. But uh, I'm not sure that would be the best of moves. Maybe put this into the castle. Oh, that was fantastic. Those were fantastic hits there, eight. So... I mean, this one should get the kill, but I'm sure it won't, and then it would cause more troubles than it solves, so. Remains to be seen. Now, in terms of these units on this side. This one doesn't. Well, he could. Try to help out here a bit, but then he'll be food for these trolls and whatever comes our way, so not the best. However, if I am to fully utilize my units, probably this is how I should play it. Um, could also be basically luring units with this particular ghoul here, although we might be killed by this sentinel. However, this sentinel will get on 40% while doing that, so it would not be that bad. Okay, probably this one should just heal, other than doing anything silly. Yeah, that was silly bringing this mage here. That was incredibly silly. Um, but don't have many options left at this point. I need to use whatever I can. Okay. Um, this one here definitely needs to do some fighting. He has 50 hit points, and he can definitely take this one head on. Maybe not. Um, this particular wows here needs to absolutely kill this. Oh, come on. Well, at least this one hits. So, now the Drake Flare is in danger though. He might die to somebody else. Means to be seen. I wish if I could just kill this warden with these three here, that would just be fantastic. It's just don't see it happening, unfortunately. Um, he's dealing so much damage. See here if I can. Perfect. Hate poison. Now, in terms of this unit here, 23. might go for let me see here 
This unit's incredibly annoying. Could try to swap things around here a bit. So I could try to put the 39 and the wow, this one here, and then this one here. And then this one put some well deserved damage into this warden. So next time the warden does anything, he will die. So 31. This should basically be enough to discourage him from doing anything silly in the future. Nineteen though. Okay, perfect. Twenty eight should survive. This one can't do anything for the time being. This one will just have to basically keep the line here. 22 versus, I mean, he will just basically need to keep the line, that's all. He can't do, he can't move at all. Otherwise, well, he might need to move actually. Yeah, he might need to move this way to keep the line. And it remains to be seen if he will be surrounded by what units and what will happen. This one is a really critical element here on 38 HD hit points. Um, Drake Warden might be 1823. That's all I can do, ladies and gentlemen. So I have to keep this guy where it is. Otherwise, it will not end pretty, trust me. And let us see here. Yeah, I guess this will be it. Perfect, level two, level three there. Oh. Yeah, that was a silly move with the mage. Then I made another silly move with the with a level two trying to protect it. Okay, but at least these survived, so the healers survived. I do have two healers now, which is great, and I did not lose any. That was a lot of experience in that mage deal. That could have been another healer. Um, now, if I could basically kill this, well, that would never happen. Would it? Um, I need now to get my experience. I'm desperate to, to level up these units. Oh, it's just so... I think now I can place this level 3 Dwarvish Lord. I can place him wherever I please. He will survive no matter what. Perfect, that was an annoying unit that was preventing my poor pikemen from retreating. Now this one on 50%, getting this kill would be absolutely fabulous, but he keeps missing no matter what happens. Um, this is another level three, which can be put to excellent use. And this is what I intend to do. Perfect. This one can get, can poison the Orcish Assassin. Can even just kill the Ah, 6 4 though. Okay, let's just go with the assassin. Perfect, the assassin is as good as that. Great, now let's see what happens with these units here. 
this one only needs one hit. That's all it needs. Of course, it doesn't get it. Uh, this one would need... No, that one would not happen. 203. This one would need two hits. I'm just not going to go for it. Um, probably should. Five three. It's not. This one can probably wait a while before it does anything. Mm. This one could get a kill here on. He's on 60% already. So I guess he could. He could try to get a kill here. Okay, not, not happening. However, here. Oh, never mind. Here then. Hmm. B5, A3, not worth it, level two, better to leave it for somebody else. Here though, it could be pretty good to get a kill on the assassin. Perfect, great. Now he is on 70%, so he should withstand any kind of attacks stemming from this trapper. Now this pikeman here could perhaps, he could, do some more damage himself. The problem is if he does go for such plays, then he will be in a world of hurt. So I'm not going to encourage him to do that. I'm just going to encourage him to stay back and wait for another day to fight. Okay, in terms of these units here, This one could theoretically deal some lot of damage on this. As you can see, he's taking like, tons of damage. Now, this one could again deal tons of damage. Now he is close to leveling up. In terms of this Griffin Rider, he should be placed in a slot which is really difficult to defend and he should be attacking a an annoying unit. And I would say this one is perfect. This one is really difficult to defend and he... Perfect. Great. That was an annoying unit. And now my leader can basically go here and then he should be fine. I guess 46 should survive all these attacks although it will be will be tricky it will be tricky if i'm completely honest with you um this white mage has done absolutely nothing five three could go for that but he would just die i have a feeling about this that he would just die this one here could be useful in any way shape or form no Unfortunately, he could attack here. 19, right? He could prevent some. So this can be used to attack this sentinel. Not really sure. Um, really sure, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, remains to be seen. What would I put there? It's just nothing would, would kill this Dwarvi Sentinel that quickly. 24 means 64. So, yeah, I don't know. I unfortunately need to go because it's quite late. So I will save this after this turn. And I would... 
continue probably tomorrow. Let's see here. Well, in terms of blue getting the kill with anything, it would have to be this particular rogue, and he will have 79 XP. Then he might just die to whatever comes at him. So I just don't feel that anybody is ready to kill this Dwarvi Sentinel for the time being. So from this perspective, I would just say hold the line and uh, yeah, wait for another day. Is this one? Yeah, this one is not doing anything, is it? Okay, I'm just going to play this turn as well. And I am going to go for this particular. Although the glide might level up if I attack him. So 16 to. Yeah, I'm not going to attack him. I'm just going to stay here on 40% and await my faith. Now, in terms of this one, 4-3, actually, he could have killed. Well, um, live and learn, I guess. Um, let's see here. If this one could get the kill, 13-2, that's nothing really. So well, if I do this, the problem is that I might actually kill him. So I don't want to waste the experience. Perfect. And now who should get the experience? 24, that would mean, oh, this one would level up. This one would level up, ladies and gentlemen. I absolutely need this. Perfect. Excellent. Steadfast tenacity. Um, trained plus three HP per level. This one is a beast. So now I've more or less solved my defending problem on this side. I think the most annoying is absolutely this clasher. It clashes. Now, in terms of what happens on this side, I am keen on slowing some, of course. Missing, sorry, missing. That was my, my bad there. I used the wrong word. So I'm keen on missing some dwarves. And this particular dwarvish steel clad can... don't know what it can do now. It can perhaps... Let me think here. Yeah, if I put this there... Then I put the steel clad here. 26 from three sides. Oh, no, 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 no. That is just silly. So this one would need to be here. Then this one would need to be here. And then it would be like 36 from three sides. And this one would have four sides and 46. That's not good. Um, well, I'm willing to take the risk. Oh, this one even has, oh, even this one has five, five. That is insane. So I would say this one here from 30%. Oh, perfect. Can't even be reached with the, then this one could actually reach the, Okay, uh, I don't want to lose another white mage. I would rather lose this game now because it's getting ridiculous. So I will just do this. And basically all these five units will end up attacking that leader, perhaps. I'm not sure, but that's that's the way. If that's the way it will be, that's the way it is. Ladies and gentlemen, it ends here. We've had a good run. So I would say don't think this one can do anything to help either. So I'll say yes. And yes. And now let's see what happens. And these two can, for example, 31 can perhaps lure some attacks, right? So, for example, this one can lure some attacks. So, I, I can do that definitely. So, I'll say. 
31 here is going to give some damage to this clash. Now perhaps they will go for this Soothsayer instead of going for the leader. I could at least hope that. Plus I need the Soothsayer on this side either way so I can help out. So I do need the Soothsayer here so I can help out in case they do surround my leader. I need to be able to deal damage back. This particular rogue does not do much on this side, so I would say move him closer to the Soothsayer. And this one will not attack anything. And ladies and gentlemen, this is game right here. My leader is in grave danger. 46 hit points. Will he survive? Five attacks. Remains to be seen, or will they go this Soothsayer instead? This is it. Let's see, what do they do? They go for this guy here, which is not the best option for them. They went for this guy, which is basically turning into a level two. That is just silly. Oh, that deals one. I didn't even realize. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Perfect. Okay, it's not looking that bad so far. However, it can still turn sour pretty quickly. He went for that. He went for the 60% and it survived. Great. It's looking good, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't lost any unit, I believe, this turn. My line has barely stood the test of time, but I'm still not out of the woods yet. Uh, it is still pretty. Uh, close. Fortunately, it's quite late here, so I, I need I need to go. But I will save, and hopefully, tomorrow would be the last uh, cast on this scenario three. Uh, if I can get my kills here, I think I did it. I did lose a lot of a, a lot of units. I did lose some core units as well. However, I do have this one with Storm, I mean, Ranged Fire Magical, and I do have this one with Staff of Radiance, which is an incredible, I mean, these, both these are incredible. This one is pretty good as well. Range Cold Slows, but it's just not heating at all. Um, plus, I do have on the red side, I believe I do have this one also with an artifact, and yeah, I do have this one as well with Steadfast, so it's, it's not that bad. I still have the, the Ancient Wows, which was the original um, unit. And so I do have one, two, three important units, I guess. And I do have, I think, a, a magical. Yeah, look at here. It's the magical artifact, which would definitely go to another dwarf. Whichever survives here, he will get that sword, the sword of the winner. So it's not, it's not lost. I still have artifacts. This one also. So wait a minute. So I do have one. Two, okay, three, yeah. So this one has um, regenerates, which actually saved my life because this one regenerated so well the whole game. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you liked it. It is, <laughs> it can be pretty um, depressing at times. And I did not play, let's say, the most, um, the safest way. I played quite aggressively. I took some risks. I think they paid off, but it remains to be seen. Uh, tomorrow on our final installment, hopefully, of Scenario 3. So stay tuned and I shall see you soon.